Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Common English Mistakes, Don't Just Learn, Improve. So recently with two of my classes, we've been studying music. So today we're going to look at all the issues and mistakes which have happened in those lessons. The first one is something which is really useful and I love teaching because it's something which is technically correct but literally nobody would say in 2024. There are going to be a couple of preposition mistakes. One of them is very important because it applies to not only music, but books, film, etc. as well. Then we'll look at some vocab issues and think of more specific natural language we should use instead. I think this is going to be really useful for you guys, so let's begin. So the semi-mistake but definitely unnatural language is up here. I went to a disco on Friday night. So just pause the video, think about the context, look at the picture and think of a better word to use instead. And well done if you said I went to a nightclub or just club on Friday night. So 40 years ago, Disco would be correct and a perfectly natural thing to say. Think Saturday Night Fever, the Bee Gees, or simply the kind of music. However, nowadays, in 2024, people just don't say this. When you talk about a venue which is open 11 till 4 a.m., where people dance, alcoholic drinks are served, etc., you always want to use the word nightclub, or from that context, you can just say club. I went to a club on Friday night. I know you're talking about a nightclub. That's something I hear very often. It might seem like a small mistake, but it does sound very unnatural when people make it, especially high level students. Next mistake is up here. I mostly listen pop music. So just pause the video, try to correct this. And well done if you said I mostly listen to pop music. Listen to when there's an object after. Style of music, song, band, etc. I think most students know this, uh, but it is a mistake which people make a lot. Be careful when it's something different in your language. The next thing I hear a lot is up here. My dad listens to classic music. Classic isn't a genre, style of music, so think what they should say instead. And well done if you said he listens to classical music. Classical, the adjective, or classical music, the old style of music with violins, pianos, etc., made by people like Beethoven, Mozart. However, we do use the word classic when talking about music. Classic, adjective, or a classic, the noun, something which is judged over a long period of time as being among the best, the highest quality. For example, the Beatles wrote many classic songs. Uh, Nirvana's song, Smells Like Teen Spirit, is already considered a classic. Maybe you could call it a modern classic. And we have a genre of music, classic rock. Bands like Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin, 60s, 70s, 80s, you would call this classic rock. And we also use this term to talk about films and books. The film Casablanca, is an all-time classic movie. The Lord of the Rings is a classic fantasy book, and something like The Great Gatsby is an American classic. Just make sure you don't confuse it with classical music. So another mistake, which applies to music, books, films, is up here. Smells Like Teen Spirit is a song of Nirvana. Just pause the video and think which preposition you should use instead. And well done if you said to say who 
created something, use the preposition by. Smells like teen spirit, the song by Nirvana, The Alchemist is a book by Paolo Coelho, and Killers of the Flower Moon is the latest film by Martin Scorsese. When there's a very big actor in a film, we often say the name of that actor with the word film or movie. For example, Top Gun Maverick was a recent Tom Cruise movie. And we do the same with concerts. Instead of saying, I went to a concert of Adele, which students often say, they want to say, I went to an Adele concert. The name of the band or singer plus concert. Or the style of music. I went to a rock concert. I went to a classical music concert. Also, even though it's music, we would never say this. I listened to an Adele concert two years ago. Either use go to, like that original example, or the verb see. I saw an Adele concert two years ago. Also, you could say, I saw Adele at a concert two years ago. And in that situation, probably more natural to use the adverb live. I saw Adele live. That's quite a useful one to talk about people playing in concerts. We often say that band is better live than on the album. So we can talk about an Adele concert because she's a very big artist. We can talk about a classical music concert because that's the appropriate word with classical music. But generally we would never say this. I went to a concert at my local bar. When it's a smaller concert, both in terms of the number of people, a hundred or so, and the status of the band, not very famous, much better to use the word gig. I went to a gig at my local bar. We also use this with comedy. There's a comedy gig happening this weekend. Anyway, the next mistake is up here. I have many favourite musics, but I particularly like Paper Planes by MIA. Just pause the video, try to correct this. And well done if you said I have many favourite songs. Music, uncountable, general idea, then individual countable songs. Might seem like quite a basic mistake, but I have heard some quite high level students making it recently. We can also make music countable by saying a piece of music. Use this when you want to talk about classical music. Claire de Lune by Debussy is a piece of music I really like, or maybe something from a film. I really like that piece of music at the start of the film. So pop rock, you have songs, classical from a film, a piece of music. If you're talking more electronic, techno, electronic, drum and bass, etc., you're probably going to use the word track. For example, the DJ played a banging track the other night. Banging, nice bit of slang to mean very, very good. And then if we're talking about a song or a track, another nice bit of slang is a tune or an absolute tune, meaning a song you really like. For example, I think Paper Planes by MIA is an absolute tune. So finally, let's just look at a couple of mistakes with verbs for when music is coming out of a device. Just pause the video and see if you can correct these two sentences. For the first one, you can use either the phrasal verb put on or play. Shall I put on? Shall I play some music? Put on's a bit more specific for when you start playing music. Play is much more general. Can you play that song I love? I played some music on my speakers. Do you hear music playing in your head? And we also use it for when bands, orchestras, etc. perform music. That band plays great music. And then for the last one, you could again say, I heard a great song playing on the radio. 
Really though, you just want to use the preposition phrase on the radio. That's the most natural. Anyway, explanation over. If you haven't done so already, do make sure to like, subscribe, turn on that notification button, and maybe share the video with your friends. There's going to be much more videos like this, giving real world examples of how you can become more natural. When you're ready though, let's practice and improve. Just pause the video and put a bit of language from today's lesson into the gaps. If it's a verb, remember you might have to change the form of the verb. ing, past, etc. And well done if you said the last gig I went to was a local band playing at a small venue. Again, gig is better there because it's a small concert. Then I know a couple of classical composers like Mozart. The next one, nightclubs or just clubs are open until about 4 a.m. in my city. When I'm exercising, I listen to techno music. You could also say put on or play. But if it's in your ears especially, listen to is best. Then the next one, my favourite song is Time of Your Life by Green Day. And then for the last one, I would like to see Kendrick Lamar live one day. So now just write, say or discuss the same sentences for you. And finally today's question, do you go to nightclubs? or clubs, and what music do nightclubs play in your country? So do write your answers in the comments, guys. Again, a good opportunity to practice something which students often get wrong. Anyway, I hope that was useful for you. And now you're going to speak about music in a much more natural way. Other than that, I'll see you for another video next week. So until next time, see ya.